Hi, hello everyone. Welcome back to Online Study for You, a complete placement solution. So guys, we have Jayashree here. She's one of our Online Study for You students. So we would like to hear from her the complete journey to Infosys. So she recently got placed in Infosys. So Jayashree, welcome and congratulations for your success. Hi ma'am, thank you so much. Okay, so Jayashree, we would like to start from the beginning, like when you apply or not, we'll, we'll go through the complete process. So before that, I would like to okay. get a brief description about yourself, like uh, what are the graduation, which pass out year and all. Hey, yeah, ma'am. Myself, I'm Adwala Jayashree Sairamya. I hail from Badrashalam, a town in uh, Telangana state. And uh, I'm a graduate specialized in computer science engineering from Adams Engineering College, Palwancha. Coming to my schooling and uh, uh, inter, I have done in Badrashlam. And uh, coming to my family background, my father, he's an employee in ITC Paper Boats. My mother, she's a homemaker. I have a sister, she's pursuing her uh, beta currently. And uh, I have good knowledge in Python programming language. Uh, that is what helped me here now uh, to crack the job in Infosys. And uh, uh, during my graduation, I have got an uh, opportunity to do an uh, internship in IDC Paper Boards, Badrashlam. I have done on a face detection and tracking system. Uh, that is also very help me, helped me a lot for cracking a job in Infosys. Uh, this is all about me. Okay, okay, that's what I said. Okay, so we'll start from the first, like when you got to know about uh, this and when you applied for that and how was your online assessment? So the first stage of selection process, yeah, we'll start from that. Yeah, ma'am. I, I just applied for the role of system engineer in the month of Jan. Mm -hmm. uh, Jan 7th, uh, I was applied for it. Have uh, just uploaded all my documents, education documents, uh, Aadhaar card copy, and everything what they asked, I just uploaded. And after that, on uh, Jan uh, 16th, the not notification for the job role was closed. Mm -hmm. And on 20th, I have, Jan 20th, I have got the confirmation that I was shortlisted for a system engineer role that I need to write an exam. Uh, and uh, on uh, 23rd, I have, got, I have written my exam. I have given an attempt to the exam. Uh, afternoon slot at 3 o'clock. And, uh, and on 28th, I have got my results about the exam that I have cleared the exam round. And after that, uh, on Feb 8th, I have got my interview schedule mm -hmm. uh, at morning at morning slot, 10 a.m. And uh, uh, it's nearly taken one month for me to get my results. Yesterday evening, I got my interview results that uh, I was qualified in uh, Infosys selection. And I offer was released. And my drawing date was March 14th. Okay, okay. So, uh, like after online assessment results, you got almost 10 days, but uh, soon after you get the result, you need to start the preparation for interview because the interview slot yeah. and all will be like intimated to you just 48 hours before. That's important. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So, how was your online assessment? Was that tough? Was that easy? And how was your preparation for that? Actually, I have prepared everything from your videos ma'am i'll just uh online study for you this uh, uh channel is very helpful for the freshers and i have learned everything of uh, point to point uh, from your videos only especially puzzles i'm a bit feared about the puzzles uh, but i have cleared that because of your videos uh, which you uploaded in the, the channel and uh, the exam level was uh, not too hard it's uh when we practice the questions uh, regularly it will be very easy to crack job in a, any mmc mnc company actually the this uh, your channel has helped me a lot and uh, the thing is uh, just uh, we need to work hard we need to practice them thoroughly have just gone through indian bits uh, website also have used your channel and indian bits website i used to prepare for the exam Okay, okay. So, uh, you know, it's obviously some, uh, in online assessment, it's all about the time management, like how you act, react to the questions. So if you have the preparation, yes. then it's fine. So as you mentioned, like uh, uh, soon after the closing date for the registration, within five to six days, your in, like online assessment would schedule. So you won't be getting yes. much time like to wait and see when we'll be having. So soon after you apply, start your preparation. That's how things should yes, go. Sir. 
yeah so enough yeah, preparation yeah. is only key yes ma'am what that is what i am saying when when you have a zeal to get a job in an mnc company from the first day we need to start our preparation we need to continue our preparation every day regularly and we need to apply the for the jobs and we need to attend the exams after applying for the job at that and at the time of exam moment if you start preparation i think it's uh, but uh, not an uh, easy job to crack job uh, in very short period of time we need to have to have much practice we need be regularly we need to practice when we have a goal to get a job we need to work hard true true right okay so uh, hence you completed your online assessment successfully so now we'll move on to the interview okay so before interview how was your preparation for the interview as well like call how was your questions preparation some hr question preparation you would have taken a little bit of preparations right a review yeah. resume and all so how was that yeah well actually after uh, getting the results i was bit tense how to face the interview mm -hmm. because as a fresher i have knowledge but not much knowledge as a programming is a ongoing process we need everything get updated uh, regularly but we must uh, satisfy the interviewer because uh, not every every interview will yeah okay every interviewer will be different they will have their own knowledge and uh, as a fresher uh, we should match with them Uh, we must be in a position to answer the questions which they will be asking so at least uh, what i feel is we need to have basic knowledge uh, what is present in our resume we need to be in a position to explain about that i mainly uh, given i have good uh, knowledge uh, sound knowledge in python programming language so that is what i mentioned in uh, my resume so i have gone through all the python questions basic questions which they will ask and uh, uh, also in some interviews uh, they are asking to write a program so i also yeah yeah uh, yeah uh, in we need to mention our uh, in interview in interview we need to mention the things which we have explain uh, given in the resume in a brief manner we need, when they question us in any point we need be in a position to answer to the questions it is very important so i just uh, gone through all the my projects and i have pro python programming language and i have gone through i have, I have prepared a material uh, what uh, about the interview what should i speak uh, in front of the interviewer and uh, all this time i prepared and uh, it is sufficient for me Uh, finally i got my interview date on uh, feb 8th feb 7th i have got the message message intimation that you will be you are going to have an interview tomorrow and uh, exactly on the feb 8th uh, at the time in time i have completed my interview my interview was uh, for 20 minutes completely uh, that's it yeah okay so um while while you were facing the interview what are the questions that you got separately tr and hr round how was it was that separate or it was combined and what are the questions that you got in my case it was combined in a, uh, I, the interview was start with my self introduction after completing my uh, self introduction then uh, the interviewer asked me about uh, the python python programming language and java Mm -hmm. in java questions like what is polymorphism what is abstraction and i also asked about the four pillars of oops concept he she asked me and uh, next to that uh, asked the, uh, the interviewer asked me about software development life cycle process mm -hmm. i explained it and after that uh, they asked she asked me about the difference between uh, between c programming language and python programming language that too i explained and after that uh, i was uh, na after that i just asked about uh, my academic uh, what are uh, what i will do in my free time uh, and next uh, to that just asked about that uh, whether i am willing to relocate relocate and uh, location which i prefer also she asked me and finally she told uh, wishing you good luck and she left okay. this is what happened completely mm -hmm. 
Okay. So they might have asked you like, uh, are you, are you having any questions to them? So did you yes. ask them many question? What are they? I yes. Finally, she asked me like that. Then what I asked it uh, was the, asked her is in what technology will they put me after in my when I, once I will get joined in Infosys. Mm -hmm. Then she answered me that uh, based upon the business requirement, uh, they will be uh, giving training. Uh, initially, we will have training on uh, uh, for every fresher and uh, who will be joining in Infosys. Basically, they will give ja training in JavaScript, uh, DBMS. Uh, and uh, they will conduct exams. After that, uh, uh, they will uh, look at projects ba based upon the requirement. Mm -hmm. That okay. is what she answered. Okay, okay. So that was a complete process. And uh, how do you felt after that? Uh, do you feel like, okay, these are the type uh, of, you know, interviews happening for Infosys. So like that, do you had any conclusions after your experience? Uh, uh, everything is fine. Uh, how I feel is uh, actually I was stressed after completing my interview also because I have answered 100%. Uh, out of 100% has given in uh, my interview. I have answered all the questions. But a uh, bit confused uh, whether they will select me or not. Actually, in actually in interview, they will uh, I have a few videos which I seen. They have asked for uh, coding questions also to write a program uh, like that. I expected a coding question. But the but the manager should not she did not ask him anything. Uh, uh, that is why I'm saying now everything completely depends upon the interviewer. I can't guess the interviewer. If the interviewer, yeah, what I feel is if the interviewer from, is from a uh, programming background, like uh, he works on Python or Java, then they will ask. Uh, if uh, for example, I think uh, the interviewer who had came to me was a SAP developer. Because for SAP developers, uh, as per my knowledge, I, I think uh, they don't need uh, this coding language much. That is why she, uh, she didn't ask me. I feel like that. Uh, no. After that, uh, uh, yesterday evening, I received my offer letter. Till yesterday, I was really in a full confusion stage whether I will get selected or not. Because uh, I was getting uh, on Feb 8th, I, I was interviewed on Fe and uh, Feb 8th, February, I was interviewed on uh, Feb 8th, on March 8th, I had got, got my results. Uh, I really one month process now. So yeah. after yeah. after one month, uh, the chances of selection will be very less. So I was fe uh, feared whether I was rejected or not. I used to have a fear in that. But completely, we need to be very patient in this process. What I have learned in this complete process is we should have good uh, patience in us. Yeah, okay, right, right, okay. So, Jayashree, you have shared uh, like a pretty good detailed format, everything, all the questions. So, as she mentioned, it is important to look into the things that you have mentioned in your resume about yourself. And the other is yeah. obviously the basic computer science concepts. That's a very important. So, uh, yeah. Please, everyone, have a look at that. Prepare for the interview and everything and apply. Okay. So, Jayashree, yeah. once again, thanks for coming here and sharing this. This is experience is going to help a lot of students. So, yeah. all the best for your career as well. It will grow day by day. Thank you so much, ma'am. Okay. Okay. So, friends, who are watching this video, just before your online assessment or your interview, all the best. Uh, let you crack uh, the, your dream company okay so in case if you couldn't also don't worry you have better opportunities ahead so keep be optimistic be you know be positive and uh, try until you reach your goal okay so everyone do you have any doubts or comments or anything like that let me see that in the comment section we will try to like answer all your questions and suggestions regarding the video content well welcome to the comment section so until i come up again everybody stay safe stay happy and stay tuned to online study for you